for today's assignment. You guys need to figure out who done it. To get your guys learning off on a good note and hopefully a fun note, starting Monday, you guys are going to complete this Google Doc and you're going to solve a who done it kind of crime scene. We've done these a few times um, in class over the past two years, but this um, is getting taken digitally. So I'm just going to walk through because you guys already have the skills with probability to do this. But I'm going to make sure we're clear with the directions. And as always, if you are unsure about anything, um, please reach out. First of all, this is Monday's assignment. So you're going to click the Monday kind of bar in Google Classroom in order to open this. And you'll find the assignment in the top right, just like the um, tax rate Google Doc. Um, now, second page, you're going to find the instructions. I'm going to go through these with you. We have six contestants on a reality TV show. We're stunned to find their lowest scoring colleague was injured. You must figure out the crime before the end of the day. The, qu the question is who done it and how the player, um, which and how, which is the player, the last known whereabouts and method um, is the ultimate solution. So in this document, you're going to find 10 clues that you must crack. Um, in order to crack the clues, you have to answer some probability questions. Each correct answer rules out either a player in a last known whereabouts or a method. When we get this clue, we're going to mark this off on the who is the criminal slide on page three, which I'll show you. And then after you collect all clues, there is only going to be one possible um, possibility remaining. And you're going to write your answer on slide 14. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. This on slide three, who is the criminal? This is what you need to be filling out consistently. What you're going to end with after you crack the 10 clues is you're going to be left with one person, one location, and one method. Whatever you're left with that does not have an X in it, that answer goes as a complete sentence here on slide 14. So you would just type the answer right here. You know, it was Dr. Alpha in the gym with chemical poisoning, let's say. Whatever it was, you're going to type it here, okay? Um, all right. Now, let's go back up. And we are going to look at the first clue. I'm going to actually do the first two clues for you guys so it's clear kind of how to use this Google Doc or this Google Slides appropriately. Now, the question's over here on the left. The multiple choice answers are over here on the right. So the question is, if you pick a marble without looking, which color are you more likely to pick? Hopefully for you, this is a very simple question. There are more blue than red, so you are more likely to pick blue. So because blue is our answer, we are going to type it here, and we are also going to highlight our answer. So we're going to take that yellow box, we are going to move it, and we are going to extend it over like that. Okay? So I have my answer here. I have it highlighted. Then um, what you're going to do is you're going to mark that off on slide three. So a fallen object was not the cause of the injury. So I'm going to mark off just typing the letter X, you can just click the boxes and type letter X, that fallen object was not there. So I know that's not the answer. Let's move on to clue number two. Clue number two says, Samara throws a six-sided number cube. What is the probability that she would throw a prime number? There is some vocabulary throughout this. If you are unsure about what the vocabulary is, you can use the internet and just look it up. So for instance, if you didn't know what a prime number is, Google would answer that in less than 10 seconds. You can also reach out, okay? But I encourage that independence. Prime numbers are numbers that can only be, um, they can only be gotten to by basically multiplying one in itself um, and no decimals. So for instance, two is a prime number because two times one gets two and there's no other whole numbers you can multiply to get two. Um, 11 is a prime number. 13 is a prime number. But we're only looking at a six-sided cube, so we're looking one through six. The prime numbers between one and six are two, three, and five. So that's three out of six, which is represented by a half. So I'm going to take this box. 
So I'm going to take this box, I am going to move it here, and I am going to extend this over my answer. I am also going to write my answer here. Now you can make that bigger if you want. Now the victim did not stub a toe. So I'm going to go here, mark this one off. And you are just going to continue to work through the document, all 10 clues, until you're left with one player, one whereabout, and one method. Um, I just want to highlight, I'm going to go through these and highlight some vocabulary um, or information you may not know. So this may be a good time to write this down if you are not sure. So I'm looking at clue number four in slide seven. Um, a deck of cards has uh, 52 cards in it. Okay, um, so that's important information. You'll need to answer this question. Other information about a deck of cards um, you can look up what a deck of cards looks like. I'm sure you probably have one in the house, but there are four suits evenly divided. Um, and it goes from ace, two, three, four, five, all the way 10, jack, uh, queen, king. Okay. But there's four different suits. Half of the suits are red, meaning half of the cards are red. Half of the cards are black. Um, so just make sure you know basic information about card decks like that. Um, I'm sure you can hopefully ask someone in your household too, if you're not sure. Um, moving down, that should be straightforward. That should be straightforward. Fair die means a normal die. One through six normal die you would use in any, any board game. All right, once again, that just deals with knowing about a deck of cards. Number nine. Multiples of three means you skip count by three. So we're talking three, six, nine, 12, 15, so on and so forth. Um, and then clue 10, quadrilateral. Quad means four, so a quadrilateral is any shape that's going to be pictured here with four sides, okay? And then ultimately on slide 14, you're going to type your answer based on what is left in slide three, and then when you're done, you're going to click the turn in button. So hopefully I'm trying here, guys. I understand it's a difficult time. Trying to make it a little fun. So um, as you're working through this, what I would appreciate as a teacher is you texting, calling, emailing me, telling me if you like this? Um, if so, I can try to put some more stuff together that's a little bit more fun uh, like this. But go ahead, figure out who done it.